Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 28.9, and today we're going to talk about the hyper resonator. Um, this is one of those things where if you understand or have been playing around with um, some of the different physical modelers uh, and other systems, or even the resonator that is right here, um, what this allows you to do is you kind of send a signal in and it will kind of simulate what it could be like for a sound. This is used for like strings and all kinds of other fun stuff, uh, sounds. Um, specifically here, um, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll use some of these notes here, but typically more percussive sounds are better because you're gonna hear, uh, let's lock the screen in. I mean, it's, it's fine if you want to do some sound design, but taking like this hi-hat, you turn it off, that's the hi-hat. Then with the resonator on, whoop, turn it on, and then hit remain. It kind of starts sounding like you're like hitting a string or something. So it still has that character of the note. And again, if I go character zero, pretty much just that hat or shaker or whatever, turn it up and kind of hear it. And we've got these different models. You get unison for spread, tiny, small, medium, huge. So that's kind of adjusting where or like what it's resonating. Um, the note is going to be adjusting the, the tuning basically. So, you know, I think this is one that you want to play with the note to kind of see what uh, what notes you want to get out of it. On the second page, we've got a scale. And this is going to adjust kind of where the note, the starting note is. So just adjust that. And feedback is going to be how much, um, I'll, I'll say, energy is put back into the system. So at zero, it's, you're, kind of, you're doing like this, a little bit of resonation, res, resonance, but you're kind of losing that character of the vibrating. And you might not want it at 99. Depends what kind of effect you're looking for. And the envelope is basically kind of taking the characteristics of the sound and then applying that for how long it's gonna go for. So like this is like this kick drum. You kind of hear it, it's ringing out more. Um, as a sound design tool, I think this is kind of cool. I, I don't know that it kind of stands alone by itself terribly well, but with uh, some other effects, going on or just playing around with different audio that you can put into the system and kind of see what you get out. I, I think there are some interesting things to do with it. Um, not as standard a sound effect for trying to kind of do some usual things with like guitars or other things, but uh, certainly this is a fun one to kind of play around with and just see what you get out of it. You just never quite know. Anyway, guys, hope that helps you out. Take it easy and keep making beats. Peace.